one, or turn one. Okay, here we go. Um, the German reconnaissance unit starts moving up to Villa Bricage. Um, the fastest uh, Cooper wagon crawling to a slower speed between 9 inches and 6 inches to allow the heavy tanks to stay beside them in their advance. Um, not within range to do any chance observations of the, the British 7th Division. Here we go, uh, turn two. The uh, German recon unit move up closer to get access to Villa Bricage, uh, and they can actually uh, get a bonus because of a recon unit. Um, if an observer team or designated reconnaissance unit is within 12 inches of a target, add one to the D6 throw for observation. So the British are in uh, hardcover, um, so it's a six within 12 inches. So this guy here can try to spot these guys, these two. He needs uh, six normally, but because of the recon. Five or six, and he failed. Okay, the uh, six pounder needed two or more to hit. Cooper wagon was in, was in eight to sixteen inches, got a four minus one for moving three and a minus one for soft cover two so I believe it's two or more to hit yep okay so okay on to the British turn. The Germans couldn't do much but move and try to observe. So the British in turn from their hardcover trenches are going to try and observe the oncoming recon of the 101st Panzer Division. Um, Five or six up to twelve inches in soft cover. And they spot them. So it means anybody within twelve inch radius of the British will be alerted. And uh, let the battle commence. <laughs> Okay, before the fire starts, we have to uh, smoke shields are fired, not firing any on the British side. Figures and vehicles are moved. So uh, I'm going to uh, move this Churchill for some defence cross country tracked heavy. This Reynolds then again tracked vehicle cross country obstacles. Okay, 
That's the British movement done. Okay, the uh, six pounder needed two or more to hit. The Cooper wagon was in within eight to sixteen inches. Got a four minus one for moving three and a minus one for soft cover two so I believe it's two or more to hit yep. okay so okay anti tank fire is uh, slightly different. Um, four to six is a hit. Got a five, and then we subtract the armor class from the test for effect from anti tank for our clear muscle with these six safe shot hits the target in the cable causing damage. I'll just check the difference between the gun class and the target class. So the Cooper Wagon is a uh, target class 6 and the gun class is 3. So that's 3. So add 3. Hmm. So it's definitely a hit. If the target is short range, plus 1. Um, Normal is 12 inches to 30, so no, not short range. If firing from behind, a line drawn across the front of the target vehicle, plus one. If the target moved in the last one, so minus one. So four, if more than 50% of it's concealed by cover, three. There's a lander. Right, so add three for the target um, class. So that's five, six, seven, eight, and then remove two for soft cover and moved. So uh, six, it's definitely a hit. So now we roll for damage to destroy a vehicle. Tire class one to five. One to two, no damage. Damage three to four, destroyed five to six. Here we go. And that's a six. So destroyed at long range, da da da, for soft skin targets. Destroyed. Damage result means the armored train vehicle must take a route. Yes, if the vehicle is destroyed, the crew are lost. Okay, first kill to the British. Cooper wagon. It's that uh, advance stop now. Um, the 25 pounder is firing at the same target, so point is rolling as it's been taken out, and also the motors declared it was firing at that same target, so their fires are void. I, I think the German turn. So that there's nine inches cross country. So if you're going to bring it up to here. Your Churchill. That's a, of the Canadian Churchill. It's a good tank. Can hold its own heavy tank. You can put it on the road. No, you're gonna leave it there. But I mean, if I come over, I'm gonna be getting it side on its side. I would stick it right there. Anything coming over that bridge is getting it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna dump troops in there. So the heavy machine gun, the motor again. I, uh, hmm. 
Right, that'll do. That's your turn. Uh, the Americans will be coming on next turn. Uh, one uh, our Canadians, Americans. Uh, one brigade has already come in, set up at 57 on the road, and they've been given orders to uh, occupy the town, secure the town um, as backup for the British. Uh, we are holding out in turn four, three and four against the German recon before their forces come on in round turn five uh, with the rest of the Americans on turn five. And we should have some fun with the artillery on both sides. Okay, so in turn four, uh, the Americans came in. Well, one part of their recon outfit, and they occupied the town. Uh, Fifty-seven mil or six pounder to the British. The M4. Motorcyclist recon. I think it's the commander in his jeep. Um, I think they're occupying the Zika team. Sniper commander. Um, Motor team, heavy machine gun spotter, the artillery, uh, fleeing Thor Bazooka with a heavy machine gun. Obviously, uh, taking up positions in the town. The British. Still trying to hold off the German recon team coming up, which has lost a Cooper wagon in the last turn. In the next turn, we'll see Michael Whitman's German force, his Tiger tanks, and uh, the rest of the 101st Panzer Division. Thank mm -hmm. you.